Thank you. Thank you, Bankale. Thank you to Attorney General Keith Ellison. We appreciate your time and especially with you just bringing together the history and the culmination of King and the moment of the historic verdict of uh, the murder of George Floyd. Thank you so much for bringing it into that uh, just much necessary perspective for us here in Detroit and around the country, around the world. It's just uh, such an honor to hear your perspective about such an important moment of time that will generate and reverberate throughout history for decades, if not centuries to come. Uh, this is a moment we'll always remember. And for that specific reason, because it gives us that hope again, that if we didn't have it already, if it was lost before, because of all the past injustices that we have witnessed and been victim to for so long, at least we have this one that we can finally start to build upon and gain uh, some better semblance of who we are as a community, as a country, what our laws really stand for, what they really mean, and how we can move forward and really ensuring the just application of the law for all of our citizens, beginning particularly with our black citizens who have suffered under the weight of that law uh, for so long. So thank you again, we appreciate your time, your participation here today. And for everyone on the call, for Chief Riley who spoke earlier, thank you. Uh, Bankley Thompson, our moderator has always done a phenomenal job. Uh, we appreciate each and every single one of you who joined us here tonight. We hope you gain some much needed perspective of what really happened that day and how much we're really still just scratching the surface of uh, the remnants of that verdict and everything to come for it today and in the future. Um, so with that, if there is nothing else, I will close out on behalf of the Paulus Institute, all of our national advisory panel members. I thank you all so much and we look forward to seeing you at the next event.